Hello, this is SJ Talks in Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. I see, I noticed that um, if you didn't get a chance to catch my video that I did about P. Diddy, uh, it was breaking news, you know, um, all three of uh, his houses were being raided simultaneously in New York, Miami, and L.A. Um, um, he's under some um, investigation for uh, sex trafficking, drugs, and um, what else? Yeah, he's under, because he's catching too many lawsuits, so he's under investigating. So they had to seize a lot of evidence, you know. Um, right now, he's not being arrested. He's not under arrest, but um, they're doing their investigation. So he's in a lot of hot water right now. Um, a lot of, I noticed that a lot of his victims are having enough courage to come forth. Um, I'm starting more and more of his victims are coming out. Victims are coming out and they're speaking out. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is people want to know why. Uh, people don't understand why these people wait so long to come out. And um, first of all, if you if you are you someone as famous as P Diddy. You take someone as famous as P. Diddy with all that fame and money he's got and you somehow wind up in his circle, whether it be uh, you're working for him or um, <clears throat> um, you're working with him or you're working for him, somehow you wind up in his circle and he gets you involved in all this stuff that he's being alleged of doing, you know, he gets you involved in that. Because allegedly he has gotten a lot of people involved in his, well, I don't want to say those, those parties. I don't want to say what they call them, but you guys know what they call the, those parties that he was having. I don't want to say it on here, but you guys know what he calls them. Those, those, those special parties that he was having. I'll just say that. I don't want to say it on here, but yeah, you guys know what, yeah. If if you know, if you've been keeping up with it, you know what he calls those parties. And he, you know, allegedly fly people up other locations, hire folks, and, you know, and, and all that. And somehow you wind up in his circle and you wind up getting involved. He winds up forcing you to, um, and he's allegedly accused of drugging people as well. You wind up getting drugged, and next thing you know, you're being taken advantage of, you're being violated, and then he threatens you after he does all this to you. He threatens you. This is what happens with rich and powerful people. He's rich, and he's famous, and he's very powerful, and this is what happens when a person gets to a certain level of fame. They feel like they can do whatever they want to do. And he winds up taking advantage of you, drugging you and taking advantage of you. And then he beats you up or have his people beat you up. And then he threatens you and say, if you say something, that's your life. He threatens your life. And this is, I, I believe this is what happened with a lot of the victims. People are not understanding. It's, it's hard when you look at from the outside in. When you're looking from the outside in, it's easy to say, well, why didn't you come for before? When you're dealing with somebody like P. Diddy with all that money, he's a billionaire status. With all that fame and all that money, when you're dealing with somebody of his stature and when you're dealing with somebody at his level, you can't just, you know, after he done did something to you, you can't just jump up and go run to the TMZ or or run to the police and because he doesn't threaten you. Now the victims are being having enough courage to come out and speak out because he's under investigation. <clears throat> now he's under investigation. The government is is got their eye on him. They're watching him. Even though he's not under arrest, they're watching him. And they're watching everybody that is associated with him. 
Okay? So he not he not about to do nothing. You know, his his victims have the courage to speak out now because he better not try to do nothing. The government is watching him. So they're not he not going to try nothing. He's not going to try to do anything to anybody at this point. Because now if something happens to someone, if they speak out and something happens to them, it's going to automatically point to him. And he knows that. So this is the reason why the victims, more and more victims are starting to come forth and they're starting to speak out now. But back then it was undercover. See, it was undercover then and he wasn't under any kind of suspicion. And allegedly he had been doing this stuff for years. And he was undercover. And when a man with that kind of money and power and fame, it's easy to do something and sweep it under the carpet. And this is the reason why the victims, one lady came on and said, you know, y'all wonder why I didn't say nothing. She said she had a lot of experiences. She didn't go into details. Um, but she said, y'all wonder why I didn't say nothing. And she said, that's because we want to live. So that's the reason. See, it's easy when us, we're looking from the outside in and we don't understand. We don't have a full understanding. But when you're dealing with somebody with that kind of money and that kind of fame, and, and, you know, and, and, and he didn't reach billionaire status. With that kind of money, you got a lot, you got, you can pay a lot of people off. You can pay a lot of money talks. And, you know, people, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that will do just about anything for money. And he had enough money to pay people off. And stuff like that. And, 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 and he could have somebody do something to you. And, and make it look like an accident or whatever. Pay somebody to do, come. He don't have to, he doesn't have to do it himself. He has enough money to pay somebody to do it. And then they could have him make it look like it was an accident, sweeping under the rug. You know? He done got, and then he done got away with it. And that was when he was undercover. He wasn't any under, under any kind of suspicion, and he was undercover. So he was able to sweep a lot of things under the carpet. He was able to do a lot of things and sweep a lot of things and pay lots of pay a lot of people to hush hush, threaten people. He was able to do all that then. But now that the government then went through all his houses, they got their eye on him. Even though they haven't arrested him. They detained him and questioned him and let him took his phone and let him go. But you better you best believe they got his they eye on him. He's on the FBI list, watch list, and, and, and um, this is Homeland Security. So they got their eye on him. He ain't about to try nothing. So the victims feel safe now. They feel safe enough to come out and speak out about their experiences. And I'm hoping that more and more of them will come forth. I am so sick and tired of these rich and powerful people thinking that they can do things and get away with it. Because one thing about it. God sees what you do. He's seeing what you're doing to people. And I'm sick and tired. Of people being abused. People being abused. And people thinking they, they can do things. To people and get away with it. Because they got money. Fame and power. I'm sick and tired of it. And it needs to be nipped in the bud. And they said that a lot of. There's a lot of other celebrities. That is implicating, they said, allegedly, he's he's snitching. He's snitching on some other celebrities, well-known people that claims that were involved in his special parties. Where he's drugging people, taking advantage of people, hiring folks. All the things that he did to Cassie, he did to some other people. This young man is coming forth that, I think he's a DJ, so I'm, I'm hoping that more and more of his victims will have enough courage to come forth.
at this point because they they got their eye on him. He ain't about to try nothing. He ain't gonna, he ain't about to try nothing. <laughs> Matter of fact, he he better if he if if he know what's good for him, he'll lay low. If you know what's good for him, he'll lay low. But they got their eye on him. You best believe they got their eye on him. And he ain't about to try nothing. So I'm hoping that more and more of his victims will come forth and speak out. Because they got bills not fair. Because they got Bill Cosby. They got R. Kelly. Uh, um, um, uh, that one creep. What's his name? I can't think of I can't think of his name right now. They get they, they locked him up that was taking advantage of folks. See, I'm glad that all this stuff they it, it and uh Cat Williams said that 2024 was gonna be the year of exposure. And I'm hoping that more and more of these people will be expo exposed and the victims will get some justice. Because I'm so tired of this. I'm I'm so tired of this. Of these rich and powerful people thinking that they can just do things to people and get away with it. And I hope that justice will be served. If he is in fact guilty of these things, and I believe that he is, then he needs to be brought to justice. He needs to be held accountable just like they did R. Kelly and just like they did uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, he was in his 80s and they locked him up. And just, and just like they did that one creep. I can't think of his name right now. The, the white guy. And I hope that everybody else that's in, in, in the entertainment industry that's doing this stuff. Okay, get them too. Get them too. I ain't going to list no names. But what I, who I suspect. But get them too. Get them too. Anybody else. Because this needs to stop. This needs to stop. And people people shouldn't have to endure that. People shouldn't have to endure that because this is the very reason because my son wanted to go into rapping. And this is the very reason why I didn't, I had some serious reservations of him going into the industry. This is the reason why. Because I've heard some stories, not just from P. Diddy, but this, yeah, in the rap world. And yeah, young men and women being taken advantage of. And I, that's my baby. I don't want him to have to endure that. So this is the reason why I had some serious reservations for him to even go into that industry. Because it's some dark stuff. It's some dark, wicked stuff that is going on in that entertainment, especially that rap sector. Especially that rap sector. That rap sector is something else. That rap sector... Yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on up in there. And so I'm hoping that more and more people will be exposed. More and more victims will have enough courage to come out and speak. And then they can put a stop to this. And men, they got just as many rights as the women do. It shouldn't be happening to men and it shouldn't be happening to women. It shouldn't be happening to anybody. People should... You know, you got a dream and then somebody takes advantage of you because you got a dream. You know, instead of just being a kind hearted person and helping this person, you see that this person has talent and, and, and being a loving, kind, and kind person and actually help this person. You want to you want to um, you want to take advantage of them. And, 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 you know, in order for you to help them. You want to take advantage of them. That's ugly. And it's it's evil. And so I'm hoping that more and more God will expose more and more of these people. So this this it could be a, this could be they could put a stop to this. And no more victims. So hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on um, more of these victims coming out. P. Diddy. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this. If you hadn't got a chance to check out that other video I did, check it out. I'm going to put that and link it up to this one. And until the next video, you guys be blessed.